Hello, my creative friends. I'm Heather North from heatherscreativeblessings.com. Recently on my blog, I have been showcasing some of my favorite Stampin' Up! stamp sets and accessories that will be retiring at the end of May. This is one of them. It's called From My Heart. It is definitely one of my all-time favorites and probably one I won't be getting rid of anytime soon. I'm going to use my Misty here because that's what I have. Um, I have a piece of Basil Marshmallow cardstock. It's a little bit thicker than Stampin' Up's regular Whisper White cardstock, which is great for holding the water that I'll be doing with the little water coloring later on. I use my embossing buddy to go over the entire piece to remove any static because I'm going to be embossing this a little bit later. Now, if you have the Misty, it comes with a little um, insert you can take out when you're using these clear mount red rubber stamps. Um, so that's what I've done here. And I just mounted it and kind of lined it up with that grid line. It doesn't have to be exact because I'm actually going to end up die cutting this. But just to kind of, I want to kind of show you how this works. I inked it up with Versamark and then closed the lid to stamp it down and then just use a damp chamois cloth to clean it up. I'm going to be embossing with some silver embossing powder from Stampin' Up. I just sprinkle it over my image and then tap off any excess. And even though I used the embossing buddy, I still got <laughs> silver embossing powder stuck where I didn't want it. So I'm just going to use a dry paintbrush and just brush away some of that excess um, powder. I'm going to heat set it with my heat tool, just melting that embossing powder. In hindsight, I wish I would have done this step last, but I'm going to show you the way I did it so you can learn from my mistake. I took some strawberry slush. This is a, one of the ink colors that's retiring too, so if you like this color, pick it up now. And an aqua painter. What I did was I squeezed the lid and some ink got on my ink pad, and then I used my aqua painter. It's got a little bit of water in the brush to just pick up some of that ink and paint it on my little heart. And then I cleaned that off just by squeezing the barrel to get the water flowing until it was clear on a piece of paper, um, paper towel. And then I am squishing the water around that embossed image. I um, just wanted a really light watercolor wash. So here I've got soft sky ink and my ink pad really needs to be re-inked. Um, I did it after this video stopped because it was so dry. But again, I just squeezed some ink into the lid, picked it up with my aqua painter and let the water just kind of flow. It was still too light. So I took some Lost Lagoon ink and decided I would add just some of that in. And you can see there, yeah, now you can really see the way that the ink and water moves. I'm going to dry it really quickly with my heat tool so that I can add some more color to it and get some depth of color and if you just keep adding color on top of it while it's wet it will just turn into one big blob of color. At this point I decided I wanted some color in the center of my image and that's where I really messed up. I got water over that strawberry slush. Dye inks react with water so when you add water it's going to spread. Mm, oops! In the end I just decided to go with it and I ended up adding a little bit of a pink halo around that heart. I added a little bit of ink splatter by picking up some Lost Lagoon ink with my aqua painter and then flicking that aqua painter over my image. I hit it with my heat tool one more time to make sure it was dry. Um, I also dried the back side because the water seeps all the way through the back, but also that helps kind of flatten out uh, my piece. Now I'm going to go in again with the strawberry slush and just add a little bit of pink to the left side of my heart just to add a little bit of depth. <music> my
my next step will be to die cut this piece. I am using stitched rectangle dies from Little Inker Designs. I am, I'm going to die cut that piece, but I also die cut a piece of Whisper White cardstock, one size bigger. And I'm going in again with my Soft Sky ink and my Distress tool. I'm just sponging on some ink. And you can really see that my ink pad needs to be re-inked. When it gets really light like that, where you pick up either stamp or your sponge and the ink pad turns really light, you know it's time to re-ink. I'm just going to take a little tiny bit of Lost Lagoon, I'm getting it onto my sponge, and then I'm just barely touching the edge of my piece, because I don't want it to be dark, really dark, but I just want some definition. It's important to tap off on your scrap piece of paper first when you have a really dark ink color like that. So here is my watercolor piece die cut. I'm just going to layer the two together. I'm going to have my card base here. It's a standard four and a quarter by five and a half inch Whisper White card stock. And I'm going to use my snail adhesive, and I'm going to use a lot of it to make sure that this piece lays flat because it is rather warped. And when I was sponging, I kind of bent that mat too. So I'm going to add plenty of adhesive to straighten this thing out. My adhesive ran out, so I'm just going to show you really quickly how to change this. It's pretty easy. I just lifted off that piece that was empty, took out the little yellow separator, and then just squeezed these two pieces together, and it's ready to go. piece is lovely just the way it is, but I wanted to add a little bit of bling. Um, I could have used some basic rhinestones, but I decided to add the very trendy sparkling clear sequins from Pretty Pink Posh. So I'm just taking some Ranger Multi Matte Medium, and I'm squeezing little dots of this glue where I want my sequins to go. And that finishes my card for today. I hope you enjoyed this pretty easy watercolor wash card. If you like this card, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you'd like to see more from me. If you like this stamp set in particular, make sure you hop on over to my blog. I'll have links in the supply list so that you can pick this up before it is gone. I want to show you another card I made that I didn't get the strawberry slush ink all over the place because it's a little bit crisper and cleaner. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you find some time today to get creative. Bye!